This right here is $200 worth of hockey gear and accessories from Timu. And I'm gonna review these today and see if they're good or not. Yeah. If I'm gonna be honest, this is pretty shocking. I didn't even know Timu had hockey gear. Nothing in here. Alright, let's get everything opened up one by one. But also, I just want to say like this up if you want me to buy a Timu hockey stick. And I'll review that for a separate video on this channel. Hey, just an idea. Like up if you want to see that. Yep. Guys, this is a Wayne Gretzky. Team Canada Wayne Gretzky jersey. Glensky! Wayne Glensky! <laughs> Wayne Glensky! This is how much this costed me. It's a little big on me, all good though, all good. It looks nice though. Team Canada, Wayne Gretzky. Oh yeah, this is nice. A roller hockey puck, okay. We got another roller hockey puck. They're both roller hockey pucks. We are gonna go to the roller hockey rink in a bit and we'll review these there. Here's how much these two pucks costed. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is the knockoff hockey wraparound. Boys, this is literally a fake hockey wraparound. It comes with zip ties, that's just, that's just sad. And then it came with two. They look kind of weird, but I ain't gonna lie. This is how much that costed me. All right, next box. Oh yeah, I'm excited for these. These are hockey targets. Six targets that go across your net. And this is how much they costed me. Last package, I think I know what this is already. Oh. Whoa. Yes sir, this is a stick handling device thing. You can stick handle it through. This is how much this costed me. Anyways, let's get into the reviews. Let's review each thing one by one, let's go. All right, we are out on the roller hockey rink. Look at this though. This is this is the Bauer puck And this is the Timo puck Look at that exactly identical boys exactly Holy this is insane Bauer. I just exposed Bauer boys. All right Bauer First thoughts on this puck, I low-key like it. I feel like this rubber needs to be used up a little bit so it's smoother, because it bounces sometimes, but barely. It feels exactly like the Bauer one. I low-key like it. W, 10 out of 10 on this one. All right, next puck. All right, right off the bat, this one sounds like shit. This one glides so smoothly, holy. Javier! I hate that bounce though. Off the crossbar, holy. I feel like I could break easily. One hundred percent, this puck won't last you long. Look at that. From just that little bit of shooting, that took some beating. But I like how well it glides. But it, feel, it doesn't feel right. It feels way too light, and that bounce pisses me off. I'm gonna give that a six out of ten. We are done with the roller hockey review. Let's go review the rest of the products, boys. Right, next up, I want to test these targets out. There's two sets of three. One should go at the top, and one should go at the bottom. 
It did take some power to pull them across the net, but they don't look bad. They look actually pretty good. I I'm excited to use these. All right, these first shots, they're warm up shots because I haven't shot in a while and I'm still not used to my CCM goals. I'm not trying to make excuses or anything. I do shoot better with my Proto R, so I'm trying to get used to it. We do got some marks on them super easily. I don't know if you guys can see them. Turn me up. That hit, that hit. Let's go. Three for three, three for three. I really just went six for seven and my SD card was full. Are you serious right now? I'm gonna try one more time. I think that was like eight for six, not bad. Look at that damage, boys. Holy. I look you like them. They don't seem too cheap either. I'm gonna give these targets an eight out of 10. It's pretty hard to mess up targets and these seem pretty good quality. So eight out of 10. Now we got this little stick handling device that you stick handle through. I'm not too excited about using this because I'd rather stick handle through Oregon Hockey Flying Pucks. Yeah, these are the Oregon Hockey Flying Pucks. They're mini frisbees that fly over 200 feet, but you could also use them as cones to stick handle through. This is my own product, so link in description to buy them. Also, a little tutorial if you have one. A lot of people don't know how to throw it. You hold it like this, and you flick your wrist. And they fly over 200 feet. So yeah, that's what I mean. I'd rather use these instead of this. But yeah, let's review this anyways. Keeping it simple for the first one, just straight. Let's go. Also, I am using a regular wraparound and a green biscuit puck. To be honest, I don't like this product much because there's much cheaper options you could use instead of <coughs> Oregon Hockey Flight Pucks. <coughs> also, this one in Pacific feels super cheap. Like, it feels like cheap plastic. I don't know. It feels like flimsy. You know what I mean? You could get a better one. I wouldn't buy this off Timu. I'm gonna give this like a 4 out of 10. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'm done. I'll leave now.